$50,000. That's how much a Florida cow herd's revenue increased with one management tweak. One of the things that we've been able to do is we've followed a, a beef herd for the last seven years uh, from when, we, uh, when they did not use artificial insemination and synchronization to where we are now. And during that period of time, we've managed to decrease the breeding season by about 50 days. At the same time, increasing the overall breeding season pregnancy rates and increasing the calf value. And I think a lot of people don't realize the net benefits of synchronization and AI together as an economic benefit. That $169 per calf increase comes from a tighter calving season, better rebreed rates, and a more uniform calf crop. Lamb says cattlemen and women who resist the technology typically cite the hassle factors. And one is that the, it's complicated to select bulls or for artificial insemination or the synchronization protocols. Uh, the, the other one is uh, facilities. They just don't feel they have facilities or they don't have the time or the expertise to do it. Um, ultimately, that's how every, uh, people don't AI for one of those four reasons. Timed AI protocols simplify the process, taking heat detection out of the equation and make it easier for any size operation to implement. So whether you have 3,000 cows or you have 20 cows, the, uh, the ability to do, to do artificial insemination um, is, is, is there. You have the opportunity to do it. Hiring outside help often makes economic sense and overcomes most of the hurdles. We have turnkey operations where there are experts that have the facilities, they have the expertise. You don't even have to know how to artificially inseminate cows. You can have somebody come onto the operation and do it for you. AI costs have not gone up with the rising price of bulls, which, Lamb says, should push more cattlemen toward the technology. I'm Bob Cervera.